When approached by a police officer, at what point should a citizen be read his or her Miranda rights by that officer? Hi, I'm David Ayler, an attorney here in the Low Country, and I'd like to briefly go over exactly what one should look to and concentrate on when determining whether or not Miranda should be read. First of all, if you're approached by a police officer and they ask for you to provide identification, because of the fact that they believe under a reasonable suspicion you may be involved in illegal activities, you must provide that identification. If in fact you provide the identification and they continue to ask you questions, you can choose to answer the questions or you can also ignore the questions. However, at that point in time, the officer does not have to read you Miranda because they have not put you under custodial arrest or detained you. Essentially, if an officer keeps you somewhere and does not allow you to leave for further interrogation or questioning, it is at that point that Miranda should be read. However, again, it is very important to understand if you make any statements prior to Miranda at the point the officer initially approaches, those statements may be used against you in the investigation of a crime. So if speaking with an officer and concerned whether or not you are under custodial arrest or involved in an interrogation, you may simply ask him whether or not you are free to leave. If you are not free to leave, then Miranda should be provided to you, at which point you have the opportunity to request counsel and make no further statements. It is always important to be very respectful and courteous to the police in regards to any communications you have with them, while at the same time exercising all of your individual rights. If you have further questions related to police procedure, you can always contact me at my office at 843-577-5530 or on the web at www.davidaylor.com.